guys welcome back with another new video today i am going to review the evolution x 7.6 which is very very latest and really thanks to the builder for building this one and really all credit goes to him and all the developers who actually contributed to the source so let's get it started with full review and here you guys can see the icon pack which i already uploaded the video how you guys can get that windows 11 icon pack on any android devices so you guys will get that link in description and of course let me change this for the first time okay now we are in default icon pack and this is the evolution x launcher and of course evolution x rom always has its own launcher settings so you guys can change its icon pack by default you guys can see here the plus icon just click on it and go to play store and download any according to your choice then you have the icon size font size and max lines for app level you guys can do that and we have here the home screen customization lock layout app icons to home screen dark status bar if you don't need this status bar if you want to disable this thing then of course click on dark status bar double tap to sleep perfectly working wallpaper scrolling wallpaper zooming everything can be customized then we have swipe to access google app and status bar top shadow icon labels on desktop and hot seat background that means this is very important thing uh, actually for some people who likes dock this is called hot seat background and we have the app drawer themed icons all themed all app will be themed icons because I'm using here the custom icon that's why I'm not using that app themed icons and I really uh, don't like it personally so that's why it's up to you recents we have your memory info and background opacity can can be customized just like this here you guys can see and I already did some changes that's why uh, launcher restarted what i am talking about memory info and other things you guys can customize and here at the bottom you guys can see total ram uses and free everything is there that means memory info will be there then we have the suggestions and of course miscellaneous as usual the important thing which is included here which is taskbar you guys can use and hidden and protected application and the main important thing is parallel space which we get in some room uh, in settings but this is in the launcher setting parallel space means dual application you guys can use one application as two that means you guys better, know better than me uh, suppose you are want to uh, using Facebook for your second ID or some you if you have multiple IDs then of course you guys can do that dual applications mm, this is the smoothness is here and I'm using this for one days if you use this for some days you will get better 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 smoothness and here is the customization the look of the control center is totally changed and we have uh, more options to change it uh, I will show you later part of the video and of course this is the G apps build we don't have any other builds so I don't recommend for 2GB RAM variant users don't install this one because evaluation X always a bit heavier so that's why I don't recommend to those people and since puff kernel is used here that's why we have a bit uh, problem solved not fully but partially fixed which is Google camera if you can see I already installed so many Google cameras and let me show you so here you can see this is Gcam 8.6 and we have other I already installed and here is the 8.4 stable version of course you guys can use and sometimes you guys can see some uh, freezing issues uh, while just changing camera to portrait and night side and just changing is uh, toggles you guys can face uh, freezing problems when you do it again and everything will be fixed just go get back and clear the reasons and then of course you will be able to change it this is cool that's it and by default we will get all the google application like uh, docs meet and 
uh, papers, news and other things. And here is the tra translates and podcast. But you guys can uninstall these applications by one click. Just if you don't need which application, of course, you guys can uninstall all these applications. This is the important things and by default we will get the Moto Dolby App support which is really really good and it's perfectly working. And of course we have another thing which is MI Sound Enhancer which is in settings, system and here device settings. And remember one thing we don't need to use MI Sound Enhancer if you are using Moto Dolby Sound. And of course we have amplification audio here earpiece gain and headphone gain and microphone gain everything can be changed here and display color calibration as usual you guys already know about that settings then we have the clear speaker system and of course we have the thermal system which application you want to set then we have the gesture usb configurations uh, as it is comes with the apps build so we will get that google keyboard by default we don't have aosp keyboard and of course gesture we have the customizations we can customize the navigation peel button which is for peel length is full very much long and it's really cool i like it and important feature is here hide ime button space that means let me show you At the bottom you guys can see we have huge space here if you don't need that space uh, below the keyboard then you guys can enable that IMA button space that feature which is called IMA button space this hide IMA button space if you don't need that you guys can of course use that feature then we have 100 more double tap and swipe screenshot everything is perfectly working I already checked Digital well-being and other things. Let me show you. Security option. We have everything just like security, app lock, face unlock and fingerprint as usual. Everything is. Let me show you. So don't need that thing so we have insecurity everything i already checked no issues with that then we have the wallpaper and style in that section you guys will get dark theme and theme icons upgrade system icon packs which is called i'm using here the oxygen west and field kai whatever you need you guys can change then we have system fonts i'm using i'm using mi sans okay i will show you this on the evolver here is the display setting as usual the regular customization wallpaper zoom effect if you don't need it just turn that off and live display color boosted and tap to wake full screen apps ambient display everything is just fine here sound and vibration as usual the regular customization and regular look is here now let's talk about the evolver which is the customization hub we firstly we have the theme and theme settings uh, which type you want the style vibrant expressive spread and rainbow fruit salad whatever you need you guys can select color source home wallpaper i did it if you need the default one you guys can select both then we have dark theme and custom lock screen clock we have huge customization on clock screen a uh, lock screen clock you guys can do that customization with colors and everything and font body font everything i already uh, change it let me show you once this is the lock screen customization i uh, i use here the two line clock you guys can also use no problem with that here is the clock font and body font and lock screen clock format double line i'm using here single line is possible then we have the signal icon wi-fi icon everything icon shapes everything is here what you need and navigation bar style as i'm using here the uh, gesture that's why navigation bar is not present so we have here the wi-fi icons and everything is available let me then we have the status bar lyric if you need that feature of course you guys can enable and we have the logo here if you want to use and we have the evolution x 
yeah, yeah, Jordan, Alien, M, uh, Amogos, and whatever, everything, Avengers, we have huge collection of style. That's it. And we have battery percentage, network traffic indicator perfectly working. Everything is here, combined signal icons, all necessary, huge customizations are here. You guys can check according to your choice, which you need, you can keep, and if you don't need, just leave. Well, blur media notification artwork background this is important feature if you need you guys can customize that feature blur media notification artwork background so this is uh, we have the quick settings clock and qa styles a qa styles panel we have customization here uh, height levels vertical layout which you can enable show only icon for qa style which you need you guys can do that thing then we have the date and battery percentage and secure QS styles require unlock king. So we have a quick pull down animation styles and other things. QS footer warning show data uses. All these are really really great features you guys can use without any issue. Then we have the power menu customization system settings power menu and digital assistant what you need you guys can enable that feature then we have the gesture as usual I already uh, talked about that then we have the lock screen ambient music ticker is lighting and UDFPS settings if you need that thing of course you guys can enable that then hide QS in secure lock screen and media cover art ripple effect fingerprint authentication single cutout whatever you need then we have the buttons as usual navigation bar bar app volume control is important feature and we have the animation as usual and then we have the miscellaneous and parallel space is also present here you guys will get it in miscellaneous in setting and you guys will get it on evolution x launcher as usual and we have the game space which is really really great uh, we, you guys will get the all latest features and smart pixels everything unlimited google photo storage and netflix is poofing as well and high fps in games as usual you guys will get the same performance as it is unlimited google photo store supported and higher fps actually it's uh, just spoofing so that's why you guys will get the regular uh, smoothness and other things and we have the jitter test is here which is really really smooth you guys can see here now get back and let me show you ignore sec windows secure flags uh, this is really really important thing I don't recommend to use uh, if you need then of course you can use this then we have the team the team actually if you want to check this uh, you can do that or oh, I have uh, I already forgot that uh, how you can change that uh, control center system uh, user interface let me show you here is that combined QS element we have hues and I'm using here the cyberpunk and shaded color pop two tone accent and outline everything is here okay let me select that one and let it be applied I think it's done yeah changes and this is the new user interface of the control center this is the way you guys can change now we have the outline uh, let it be changed and it will blink here on the status bar so this is the new one so we have that this is really really very really smooth and you guys can change this way as usual the regular things are here and we have by default google dialer and google messenger sorry not messenger messages uh, these are here you got it and this smoothness is just in front of you and let me show you other things which is really important and Geekbench score I ran it for the first time and just I ran it once so that's why the store uh, the score is uh, very poor but if I use it for two or three days and then I try then it will definitely improve so that's why I recommend you guys don't go with the scores keep using the ROM for some days and you will get better better performance now let's talk about the SNAC okay I already uh, took the screenshot internet connection is present so here is the yes like that means safety net is passed by default you guys can easily use any banking application without any problem and I already rooted my device using magic manager so hope you guys understand the video i already tried everything to show video is a bit longer hope 
your passions so thank you for watching